What's up guys, my name is Westy and today I'm back again bringing you some more Battlefield 3 endgame information and today I've got something on the dropship. On a video released today on the EA Vision YouTube channel, it's called Pwned, it's one of their like episode series, uh, one of the guys spoke to the lead designer at DICE about the new endgame DLC and they actually released some footage of the dropship which is something that we haven't seen yet. Is this about a dropship? This is basically a rapid deployment idea which means that if you control the central base you control a dropship which means that you can spawn inside an IFV dropping out of the dropship onto the battlefield through parachute. So you can get a surprise kind of tank coming down from the sky to help your team, which is really cool. So this actually looks quite cool. Um, it looks like you're going to be able to actually be inside the tank while it gets dropped down from the dropship. And I'm assuming there's going to be a giant parachute to sort of slow you down the closer you get to the ground. So the dropship is pretty much what we expected it to be. It's literally just going to drop IVFs onto the battlefield. And also you can see there it's going to be a mobile spawn point. So you're going to be able to para drop onto the battlefield as well as a soldier. Some more information that was in the actual video as well. The guy did, did mention about the maps, which were also in the premium video released yesterday. But something key that he pointed out was that Sabalan pipeline is slightly smaller than the rest of the maps. The maps in Endgame are quite big. Um, the, uh, the exception to that would be uh, Sabalan pipeline, which is a slightly smaller map. It's still vehicle friendly, but it has um, smaller um, areas to, um, or distances to cover. So it's, it's a little more catered to infantry combat. Now, in the blog post that I reviewed a couple of weeks ago about the maps, they did say that this um, Sabalan pipeline is quite sort of enclosed and the, it's more towards the infantry side of the battle rather than the vehicle side. So perhaps that's reflected in the map design where it's slightly smaller than the rest of the maps. I'm slightly disappointed here because I thought that the snow map would be one of the bigger ones, obviously with the wide open spaces of the snow that you can see in the background there. But um, nevertheless, I'm still looking forward to it. And finally we just saw a tiny little bit more of air superiority, this time on a different map, you can see that's Operation Riverside below there, and then it sort of just transitions back to Nabandan Flats again. So not a huge amount in this video, but the main thing was the dropship, and I'm actually pretty impressed by it. But I want to know what you guys think, what do you think Endgame's actually going to be like, do you think it's going to be the best DLC, or is Aftermath going to reign king? I need you to tell me in the comments. So I've been Westy, I hope you've enjoyed this video, if you did enjoy it don't forget to give it a like so other people can see this information, and I will see you in the next video. Thank you.